um, I think what made this season different than most is like, all the adversity we had to overcome with all our injuries, starting out the season with like practicing with 12 players. It was really hard, and the wins that we had towards the end of our season were unexpected for some people. But for us, it was just, you know, memories we'll never forget. So it was just an awesome season. How much was it a, a boost for you guys heading into the NCAA tournament? Was revenge on your mind? I know you guys lost to Marquette in the Big East tournament. How much was that a motivating factor for you guys to come out, beat Penn State, who you lost to earlier in the year, and then go out and beat a real good Oklahoma State team? Yeah, I think um, after the Marquette loss, we were – we knew we were going to get into the tournament. Like, well, we were pretty sure. You never really know. And then when we found out that we were going to be hosting, I think that that kind of just the excitement and just kind of like propelled us to, you know, all the energy we had in the in the two games. Just talk about the Penn State game. The Penn State game was a really, really, really tough game, but it was really exciting. They actually scored first. And then we came back and scored. And the, I think the coolest thing about that game was that we got to play in front of our home you know, our um, family and our friends and our school. And I think that the crowd kind of, you know, was a huge factor in our win. Then you turn around and the next round, you got to play a very good Oklahoma State team. You guys go 0-0 and go into penalty kicks. Toughest job in the world for a goalie is penalty kicks. Yeah. And you came through huge. Just take me through that whole sequence. Um, I think it was adrenaline, actually. When I, um, when I knew that we were going to go into penalty kicks, I mean, we were playing the number seven team in the country. It's just an experience a lot of people don't get to um, go through. And I think that when it was all happening and we started the penalty kicks, I was saying, you know, this is something, if we win this, this is something I'm going to remember like forever, basically. So I think that that was really cool, just knowing the experience that we were having. It was just really awesome. Just talk about the weather conditions. From my understanding, it was a real windy day, which can wreak havoc on a goalie, but you were able to hold tight in the goal and keep it scoreless going into kicks. Well, right, there's a few things that stick out in my head besides, obviously, when we won after the penalty kicks, but um, there was a few plays where you just, if you were playing into the wind, you just couldn't get the ball to where you wanted it to go because the wind was such a factor. And actually, this one girl took a shot, and um, it curved, and it dropped at the last second. And... You know, I had to make like a last minute like um, reaction type thing, but it just, it was really, really, really tough to play in those conditions. So you get the nice win, you guys hop on a plane a couple of days later, fly out to California, play Stanford, a great program, great team. Just talk to me about that game, a heartbreaking loss. Yeah. Um, well, what a lot of people don't know is we had three players on crutches before we even went out onto the field. That whole week they were on crutches, that day they were on crutches. We had other people playing through um, sprained MCLs, just everything that you could imagine. We were all experiencing things teams in the Sweet 16 just don't experience. So I think that it was really like draining for us before we even got to the game. But I think we set that aside. And I think, I think that we, um, it, I mean, they, only, they scored one goal in the last four minutes. I think our team had a great defensive effort. I think offensively, we lacked a little bit because they were just so so dangerous and they just were so talented. Aaron Guthrie was a big reason why the Scarlet Knights advanced to the Sweet 16 in the NCAA tournament. And Rutgers coach Glenn Crooks said about Guthrie, Aaron has been a keeper that always makes the big saves and big moments. She did it in high school with her club team and now here at Rutgers. The Big East is one of the best soccer conferences in the nation, and the SCIL is well represented with Courtney Flanagan at South Florida, Elise Fagowski at UConn, and Henry Guthrie having a great career here, and her older sister Kelly, don't forget, superstar at Villanova. All those players that have gone on to play in the Big East or um, other people playing college soccer, I think that they've been, they've kind of taken teams on their backs and let Emily scoring all those goals that she scored, my sister scoring all those goals, like they've just, they know how to be big time players. And I think that that's a, that's a big reason why they're successful in the Big East. Although she was hurt this season, Trish DiPaolo had a great career at Lenape Valley and Erin Guthrie is real pleased to have her on her side now. Trish is one of the best players I've ever played with. I have had the opportunity to play with her before. And I think that she is such an exciting player. She's that player that everybody wants on their team. Like her work ethic, her talent is just above and beyond. And if she was on our team um, this year or last year, I think our season would have been different. It would have been just because of her presence and how much she brings to the table. I just am really excited to get to play with her next year. 
Despite missing the season due to a knee injury, Rutgers coach Glenn Crooks was very impressed with Trish DePaolo, saying, Trish is the engine of every team she has played with. She is a smart soccer player whose work rate is higher than any other player I've ever coached. Playing in the SCIL really helped Erin Guthrie prepare to play in big-time Division I soccer here at Rutgers. I think, you know, experience is everything at the college level. I think that that gives you the confidence to play, and I think that that was a big reason why me and other players could step in right away and do because th of the experience that we had previously, which was awesome, and that's something that we're definitely grateful for. Now, just looking quickly at the stat book, um, if barring any injuries, and we hope that doesn't happen. When all said and done for Aaron Guthrie here, you're going to have all the records for a goalkeeper. Just talk about what your future goals are for, uh, for Rutgers. Um, well, there are, some, there are some records, but I don't think that's really the most important thing. Like After having a season like we did this year, it's, I'm going to remember the win over Oklahoma State more than a shutout I had versus another team earlier on in the year. It's just, I mean, those things are great, but at the same time, like the experiences that we're having is just great. And I think next year, I want us to do the same exact thing and maybe even go further because we're going to have a very talented team. And it's just been so exciting. Like, you know, top 16 teams in the country, it's just like a dream 